guess what time it is. It's time to watch episode seven of The Gilded Age. Here we go. Okay, we are literally starting off this episode with Larry standing up for the lady in charge of the Brooklyn Bridge. And can I say, when he says this, I'm like, is this Larry Russell or is this Mr. Russell? One minute. She told me you'd say that. I cannot endanger the whole event out of pity for Mrs. Fruitley. That's disappointing to hear. He was having some big Mr. Russell energy going on right there. Bring it on, Larry Russell. Let's just hope for some Larry and interaction. Now the engagement luncheon, okay? And remember earlier in the episode, Marion was looking at dresses to wear to this luncheon. Now I understand the Gilded Age is not Bridgerton. However, the dress she held up in her room was a purple, somewhat lilac dress. And in Bridgerton, that always signifies love. And that dress too was a little bit more engagement feeling, like celebration dress. However, the dress she actually wears is more of like an everyday dress, not so much a celebratory dress. She is not excited in the least to be engaged in my opinion. Especially when she says this. Wedding plans. We've not been long engaged. Remember last week when Dashiell was like, you're not a real teacher. Well, would a not real teacher be able to speak at this event as an authoritative figure? For reference, this is the event I'm talking about. Committed teachers. Anyone would be lucky to teach at or attend one of these schools. With your help, we can make the board realize they have to keep them open. Do you think Dashiell would back something like this up? No. He probably would think that her place is at home. But you know who would support her? Larry. Just saying. Okay, this is why Larry is meant to be with Marion. He just congratulated, I think it's Mrs. Robley, for overseeing the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge and carrying out the rest of the construction. Do you think Dashiell would have done that in a room full of so many important people? Uh-uh. He probably just been like, it's not like you're a real engineer anyways because like what you're not getting paid to do it yet you're overseeing a ton of men making sure that it gets built yeah larry is the real one and he will support marion this episode is so good okay we have one episode left y'all larry has just gone back from the brooklyn bridge celebration marion has just sent dash along and was like i'm fine like was giving this like strong you know i'm strong woman like per like facade on and then larry shows up and she just was like, I can't believe this is happening. She's able to like, like bear her emotions to him without any concern. The way that they are able to just be themselves around each other. I love it so much. And also the fact that Larry knows what she needs without being like annoying about it, right? And they just go for a walk together. And I'm just like, he's always there for her when she's happy, when she's sad. And she's there for him. Like they build each other up. So you're telling me that these two aren't meant to be together? I will not believe you. I just won't. Like, just watch this. Look how he looks at her. Oh. Look how she looks at him. They are end game. 